Okay, since I made a video before about uh, the older Galaxy Note 9, as you see here uh, mirrored on my screen, well, I had questions on how to make this phone record more than 10 minutes of video. Well, that's, uh, that's a tough one because it does not allow more than that. If I click record right now, as you see right here, it goes up to 10 minutes and it cuts it off. I mean, I know why they did it. It's to protect the overheating and all that good stuff and even if you put it in 1920 it doesn't matter or you can go full 4k still it remains 10 minutes and that's that's a shame because it's a beautiful phone it actually records good videos actually in, <laughs> on 4k it's only five minutes but never mind you get the point and despite me trying everything on settings and some kind of mods that went absolutely nowhere. Well, the only thing I could find that I could say it makes sense was a third party app. Yeah, and it's this app here, Open Camera. Let me put it on Google Play really quick. Just go to your Google Play and get Open Camera. Now there's other apps too. Filmic Pro is not bad, but you have to pay rent for Filming Pro. Filmic Pro. It's not free, so yeah, it makes it do that monthly and weekly and whatnot. It's a beautiful app, I hear. I never really tried it myself, but for the purposes of this video, open camera is hands down the best uh, app to bypass that uh, problem with a 10 minutes recording. As you see here, we can record up to 68 gigabytes in this phone and let me see you can switch the camera if you have more cameras on the back camera you can zoom in and out as you see full uh control with a focus and all that if you go to settings you have a lot of good stuff actually go to camera controls touch to capture timer beep shutter sound it has all the features that actually you have on your camera and i would I would say, I would dare to say, you have a little bit more features than you would have with a default camera on Samsung, just based on my usage of it. And if you go to video settings, yes, you can make a full video, a full HD video and whatever that your phone has. And you can go up to the 4K that this phone can handle, as you see there, and you can change the video format to make it MP4 directly so you don't need to convert or anything and here is where you change the video duration how long you're going to uh record you can go one hour maximum here or you do it unlimited and you stop it when you want to stop it now of course you'll have to check the temperature on your phone because if it gets overheated after i don't know 30 40 minutes then it's different story but in my uh testing I actually haven't had any problems at all. Maximum file size of video. I'm going to put it in max 9 gigabytes. I'm not going to record more than that anyway. And I love this part here. You can manually change the audio source. You can put it unprocessed or raw. Optimized for voice recognition. So it removes background noises. Optimized for voice calls the same. Default audio source, whatever is automatically, external mic or camcorder. In my case, I put my uh, Ceremonic external microphone and it works absolutely perfect. Usually I leave this uh, default, but you can put mono or stereo. And that's a, it. I'm telling you, it has more controls and more features than the default camera on your Samsung. And... This is not limited to the Galaxy Note 9. There's a lot of other phones that actually uh, don't support more than 10 minutes or 5 minutes in 4K. And here you can change the bit rate. You can go up to as much as 200 megabit per second if you want to go that route. Video frame rate. You can go up to 120 if your device can handle it. I mean, you cannot get better than that. There's so many controls. You can make flash while recording video if you want to. So you know from a distance when the phone is recording or if it's still recording. As you see right here, we have it in 4K 3840 by 2160. And you can change the photo settings, location, processing settings if you want to. To help with uh, anti-flickering of especially LED lights and screens. Leave that on auto. I highly suggest that because the 
phone or the app will actually decide what's better and you can turn on face detection instead of focus areas as it says right here i don't do face videos so i leave it off and let me get out and let me go on camera i'm gonna allow because i have the microphone blocked and we're just gonna record that uh, box right there just a little bit boom and it just keeps recording to oblivion you don't need to worry about the whole thing with a time limit and all that now as i said you just have to check the temperature on your phone that that's something that's beyond this app there's nothing the app can do regarding that and i love that right here where your right thumb would be resting you can either zoom with these two buttons or you can do that kind of a smooth zoom with this one look at that with a slider that the original camera or the default camera does not have and in my opinion this is the best choice you're gonna find for any of these uh older phones or even some new ones actually that have limits on how long you can record open camera is going to be your absolute best friend and you can as as i said you can lock the uh light you can lock the focus you can lock the exposure there is a lot that you can lock and you can record as much as you have storage in my case i have a 67 gigs left here which is more than enough and as you see it's still recording and i don't have a time limitation so what do i think yes it's possible i've recorded up to 40 minutes i stopped it i didn't push it further than that but this phone if you remember if you're one of those that asked how do i record more than 10 minutes in that video i was actually replacing the battery of this note 9 well battery and parts know that because i bought two for parts that had good parts to collect from both for around less than 50 bucks or 60 bucks something like that anyway so uh this is my take on it and this is your best bet to actually record more than 10 minutes in your phone and yes i'm repeating myself for the 50th time but i just feel bad to see people get rid of these note 9s because they're such beautiful built phones they still work they still get 4g lte they are quite fast you can do quite a lot of gaming on it there's a lot of newer kind of mid-tier phones that are not even close to this one in performance now yes you are not gonna get any more uh, uh software updates that is gone but if you are careful with it you can go ahead and have fun with it because it's really a very capable phone on doing what it does camera microphone calls games even small video editing you can do on it social media anything that uh, the newer phones will do this one will do too so i just don't understand uh, that people have to upgrade just because samsung and apple said okay we brought in a new color you gotta buy it yeah you get a gig or two more of ram and all that please tell me what's last time you replaced your full frame camera dslr with a phone and i'm talking in professional settings not just shooting a quick video for youtube like i do sometimes and all that what's last time you did that never so you know keeping these uh kind of older phones around in a good shape is not a bad idea at all by any means and i really love this phone it's it's one of the best phones that samsung has ever made just saying it and yes i have my uh note 20 ultra as well it's well <laughs> that one is a beast that one is a beast but it's still three to five hundred dollars right now as we speak but you can pick up a note nine sometimes even less than a hundred dollars and for those that were asking what phone should i buy or what camera should i buy to start as a new youtuber right well pick up a note nine trust me you'll be fine you don't go on timo and buy those cameras that say 4k for 12 bucks <laughs> you're gonna hate life you're going to hate life listen to me buy a note 9 like this one records up to 4k 60 frames per second get this app right here to record directly on the phone if you want to or or there's another app it's called arian or arian webcam this one right here as you see you can get this app right here so when you fire the app on your phone let me put it arian right here boom arian webcam now these two will connect to each other right now you see there because it's messed up because i'm connected two times as you see boom i have arian right here 
Now, how do I capture this one on my OBS? It's very easy. Let me launch a new instance of OBS because, you know, that's uh, not going to let us do what we want. But here is another OBS. And we go to Irian. Irian right here. Uh, let me get one of the webcams. But I'm connected with two USBs right now. And it's wirelessly connected to this one. But basically, basically what you do, and a lot of my videos were shot with this. Not gonna lie. A lot of my YouTube videos that you see here were shot with a phone via this Irian software connected one side to the phone the Irian software that projects that image via either wi-fi or usb to your computer and on your obs you go here you just add this as a, a camera capture thingy if you click on it right now you have this you add Irian and you select which of the Irian cameras i made a video on how to put multi cameras on obs and yes i did it via this Irian, so you can put multiple phones as your cameras and they all can shoot up to 4K. You don't need anything better than that. It's beautiful. Look at this thing here. Samsung SM, whatever this Samsung here is. You go here. And we are recording on 3840 by 2160. Uh, or you can lower it to 2560, 1440. Look at that. What else do you need? Boom. You have your YouTube camera. You don't need anything fancy. It's just a shame that more people are not paying attention to this stuff. So Note 9 is not dead. It's a very capable phone if you know how to use it and if you use it with the right software on your PC and on your phone, you can have a very beautiful camera to shoot your YouTube videos, Instagram reels, TikTok, whatnot. It is more than capable of doing all of that. And with that said, I'll see you next time. I guess there's nothing else I can say. <laughs> Please hit like and, uh, like and subscribe if you don't mind. If not, it's okay. Still, uh, hope you learned something and I appreciate you watching this video. We'll see you next time. Bye.